Until the introduction of today's modern telecine machines in the early 1970s, all film that was required for broadcast had to be transferred using multiplexer systems. In fact, the early professional telecine machines really consisted of a projector on a film island with a built-in multiplexer. So what is a multiplexer? Well, it consists of high-quality optics made up of semi-silvered mirrors or prisms and they are positioned to create an aerial image. That is where no physical screen is present and degraded of images is kept to the absolute minimum. A professional multiplexer therefore is a great asset to any film transfer business looking to provide high quality film transfers from multi-format film gauges. Of course the quality of this image is dependent upon the original material and method of projection. In this example we are using an Elmo GS1200 projector to transfer Super 8mm film. In order to obtain the best results it is essential that the projector, multiplexer and camera are correctly in alignment. And as you can see from this example this has clearly not been the case and our results sadly reflect this. But in all honesty it has been a few years since we used one of these and we had limited time in order to set up the equipment. So back to the setup. The 200 watt halogen lamp normally situated within the Elmo has been replaced with a 12 volt 20 watt lamp and the light source has been diffused by placing some opaque glass in front of the lamp. The normal 24 volt lamp supply is replaced with an external transformer so a 20 watt cold lamp source can be used. The camera we are using is a Sony DSR500 and is feeding out from the SVHS socket. Although in normal practice you would use either firewire or component outputs. We have used a separate camera control unit in order to manually adjust the exposure setting and colour correction. So before you start you must set the multiplexer up in line with the projector and camera. And this can be a bit of a pain and will require a lot of patience. However, once set up with the position fixed, it is then quite easy to remove the projector to use another gauge. You just make different bases to match the projector you are using. The camera should sit in a bolted position on either a tripod or stand and once set can be removed with ease for other uses. So let's have a look at the results of our Super 8mm film. As you can see the quality is quite good and could obviously be improved with better setting up. Here is some standard 8mm film being transferred on an old UMIG projector. And finally, this is a 16mm ELF projector that has been converted to transfer 9.5mm film. So as you can see, a multiplexer is indeed a good choice for a small film transfer business as you will be able to transfer any gauge of cinefilm providing you have projectors to match. If you would like to know more about film transfers, please visit our website 
and thank you for watching.